Hi everyone, it's Mike. And Raven. And we're about to do the Chalice Dungeon PvP version of Bloodborne. Yeah. So, at the start, you're supposed to start with your standard 12 deck cards of skills. Yeah. And then you're supposed to pick 10. We already did. And then pick six of those that you want to keep. So I got my six there. Yep, those are my six. And then the six that we picked out, I took out those. Yep, and I took out those. And then that's going to be your starting deck. Yeah. The very start. And then... You're supposed to have free insight tokens. So I got free on mine. And I'm using the Beast Claw. And that's how much life you have. If you die three times, you lose. Yeah. Because we're going against each other. And then you're using... The Saw Cleaver. Cool. We're supposed to pick out... Player plus four random tiles. So we already did. Yeah. And then we set up the map at the start already. Yeah. And we picked our three guys we're going against. So we're going against the uh, hunting dog, the Margos. Margos attendant. I think yeah. It's called. And the Lauren Silver Beast. Yep. Side faces. Yeah. And there's no hunt track on this, so we don't go by the hunt track. We just go until somebody dies. Ah. Okay. Three times. Okay. Uh, yeah. You can only do one axe in a turn. Okay. You can't do free like in the other one. So you can do certain things a turn. You can, to get your cards back, you do a recovery one. So that's how you get your cards in that. That's the only way you can draw a card. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you can only do one axe per turn. Okay. So the axe is like in the standard game that you can attack, move to, interact, transform weapon, or go to the hunter's dream. Okay. So you can do only one of those things a turn. And when we attack each other, so when we're playing, if you actually attack the person. Yeah. And then the monsters populate when you set up the map too. And then they don't come back. Once they die, they're gone. Okay. So, And cool. there's also no bosses in this one. Cool. It's just, um, so we'll randomize the map now. Yeah. So we already picked our random six tiles. Yeah. So then I'll pick one first and then we, I'll put it somewhere that I won't put. So I'll take that one. Cool. And I'll put it like this. And then you want to take the next one? Yep. I'll put it for you. Where do you want to put this one? Um, let's do one out the side on your side. Over here? Yes. Okay. I'm going to set up our cards, actually our decks, so we can set up the maps first. So we'll set up our decks too. Okay. So I'm going to put a tile now too. And I'm going to put this one right there. Cool. I'm going to put the next one. I'm going to put it... Away. Hmm. Maybe we'll put it on my side. Over here? No, up. Up, up here? Yeah. Okay. I'll pick another one. I'm going to leave her gate right here. I'm going to put that one right there. Cool. And the last one. Um, that will put the last one here. Okay. So that's how you generate the map when you do player versus player. Cool. But you always have the challenge entrance too. Yep. The lanterns you don't come in on when you set up who goes first. You put one hunter down anywhere on the map and then another hunter can go at least, you have to be at least two spaces away from them. Okay. Same when you die. That's how you come back too. Okay. So we also have to populate the board too. So we'll put the hunters, actually we'll put the monsters in first. That's everybody? Yep. So we got the map populated now. Yep. So then we will pick the hunters too. So, do you want me to pick where I go first then? Sure. Okay, so, where do I want to start? I'm going to start right here. And then you would pick where you want to go. I'm going to go here then. Yep. So we got our map set up and where our hunters are going to. Yep. And this player versus player, they come with these little screens too to not show what the other person's doing too. Yep. When we attack each other, so they don't see what the other person has to do. Yep. And they Try tell you what it. you can actually do when you're slain and combat on them too. Low information too. Cool. Goes down. And then I placed my one first, so I'll go first. Okay. So you can only do one axe in a turn. Okay. So you would draw your free cards like normal. Yep, but so, you don't want to show them to me, maybe? Or do you want to show yeah, them? Yeah, I can show. The only time I don't show you is when we're picking when we attack each other. Ah, okay. So. One, I got stagger, block two, and plus one. Okay. I guess the, the rules are kind of like just for the 
player versus player. It's only the back page there. So I'm sure you can make other rules or add to it. Like maybe we won't show each other the cards if you're playing again with other people. Yeah. Uh, also, the chalice rights, you can decide to use them or not. Because we're not playing the dungeon version against bosses, I'm not going to use the chalice rights deck. Okay. It's just one more thing we'd have to remember. And We're get, going against each other, so we're not going to do the chalice rights. Okay. But you have the choice to use them or not. Okay. We still will use the chalice traps, though. So every time we go into a new room you draw a trap okay we won't draw for the ones that we're already in so okay. the ones that we haven't gotten yet once we come out of it okay. okay um if i kill you do i still get a blood echo every time no I kill that's you? a good question too it says that killing i think it actually says uh, at the bottom of your chart when yeah. hunters are slain hunters do not grant blood echoes when slain ah, okay. the monsters give blood echoes and okay. then if you choose to do one of your access to go to the hunter's dream then you can use those blood echoes to get more upgrades okay but you can only do one axe in a turn. Okay. So, what it doesn't state, though, which is weird because the rules are so loose on this, is the monsters still get their turn. Yes. So after I go, the monsters go the same as you, and they attack me. When they come to attack me, if I've already done an axe in, can I still attack back? Oh. That's not in the rules. That's I, important. Yes. So I say that we'll play that way, that... I'll do an action, and if you have cards left over, you can still defend like you would do in a normal game. Right. Okay. Sounds so, good. Uh, and that dog's there, too. And those... The hunter's dog moves, too, when they activate. Okay. So they're like the skirts beast. Okay. So I think I'm actually just going to wait there for my turn. Okay. Uh, I can use... An, card to switch my weapon if I want, but I'm not going to. Or I can interact, transform weapon, go to the hunter's dream. Nope, I'm good. Okay. So that the monsters would activate and in order is a hunting dog, so he'd go two. One, two, because he's next to me. Yeah. The Margot's chief attendant would go one and attack me. Okay. So I am going to attack back. Yeah. So I'm going to what do they do? We have a place against the gang up deals in space. Attack is not thoughts or staggered. Okay. It's at two speed. I am going to do my basic plus one damage against him. Okay. So I'll put that on slash, so that's three damage. Okay. What does Margo's chief well not Margo's chief attendant, Margo's attendant does? Yeah. They do basic. So basic is two speed, getting up, does plus one damage for each other enemy within one space. Oh, that is within one space, the hunter's dog? Yeah. So it would do free damage. Oh, nice. So free damage at two speed. I'm going at two speed also. So it does free damage to me, and I do free damage to it. Okay. So I kill that. So we got to get to each other. And I get a blood echo. Can't kill each other if we can't uh, get to each other. If they kill us, yeah. that still counts as us dying, so we lose a... Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, yeah. oh, that guy's kind of mean. Uh, and that was my turn. So now it's going to go over to your turn. Okay. Okay, so... Do you have your three cards you got to pick up, too? Yes. I'm going to pick up three cards. So I got... Uh, when you use for non-attack, heal two. Second okay. wind. A stagger and a dodge clear this slot. Okay. So, um, I think I'm gonna use. They're gonna move towards me and attack me anyway. Uh, they moved two, you said, right? Yep, they like. Like Skirt's Beast. So if I moved into there, he would he move back towards me? And then he would move towards me too? Yeah. Okay, maybe I won't do that. Um, I think I'm going to move this way. And go use my... Sorry. Use my... Actually, my stagger. Okay. To move. And I'm going to move... One, two, in with that guy. Okay, and okay. that's your turn? Yeah. Okay. 
So then they would activate? Yep. So in order though, the hunter dog would activate and go here. Yeah. And he's going to attack you. Okay. So are you going to attack him back? Um, I don't know. I don't know what he can do. But yes, I am going to. Uh, he has a two speed bite that does two damage. Okay. And then his special is uh, you suffer one damage for each damage they do to him. And he has quick dodge where he can jump away. Okay. I'm going to use my basic dodge, clear this slot, and put it on my two speed. My two speed slash two speed two damage. Okay. And then what's he going to do? He does basic. Awesome. So you could use your... I can use my pistol to stagger him. So I'm going to use my pistol to stagger him. Okay. And you do two damage to him? Yep. Two. And you clear the slot too, right? Yep. And you're on the side of your weapon that does what? On kill, draw one, heal one. Okay. And then I'm on the side where on kill, heal two, move two. Cool. Okay. So that was... That's turn. So the Margo's chief attendant will go. Yep. And that's going to hit you now too. Are you going to attack back on that one? Um. Yes. Okay. And I'm going to do the same one I did last time. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do... Two speed, two damage for slash. Okay. And what does it do? Oh, and we got to check the trap too because you moved into a new tile, right? Yes. We'll do that. Special. So that special is shove. So it does stun. Hunter must discard one card if they cannot suffer one damage. Okay. So you suffer one damage. Because I can't discard a card. Uh, it does one damage. If this attack was not dot... Dodged or staggered, after Hunter's attack, Margo's attendant activates again. Ooh, okay. So you take one damage. I is that? No, oh. that's the stun you took a damage for. So you take yeah. another damage. Yep. Okay. And now he activates again because you didn't dodge or stagger that attack. Okay. So he activates again. Yeah. You can't. You have no cards to do anything. No, I'm out of cards now. Okay. So, basic. Uh. Deals one plus damage for each other enemy within one space. Okay. So there's one space, so it does three damage. Okay. You got one hit point left? Yep. Uh, okay. And um, that's them. Yeah. So they're mean, the little guys. They are. And now we got to see what the trap does, right? Yeah. Oh, and... Oh, is he here? Yeah. So we'll do the trap first, because the uh, Silver Beast gets to go, too. Yeah. Okay, so let's see what the trap was. Let's cut this. Move from there. Arrow trap. Hunter must immediately dodge two or suffer two damage. Oh, I can't. <laughs> Did you have a dodge card? Oh, it's a little... No, but I used it for oh, okay. to move so, and stuff. Let's say the arrow trap hits you then. Yeah. So I died. You died. So you got hit by an arrow. <laughs> yeah. So, so I lose one of these. You lose your... Yep. Yeah. Insight. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you would heal back up then to the full. Yep. Yeah. See, that's another thing they don't say really in the rules. When, oh, turn their turn, they perform an action. When they spawn, they do not use the lantern. Then you spawn in any space on the tile that's two spawn. Okay, so I guess you spawn back like you would do normally. Okay. It so doesn't say anything about getting your cards back too or anything. Okay. I know an action you can take is to recover and you get to... Not just access to recover access during their turn, then you choose to recover. Refilling their hand to free cards, and then their turn ends. Okay, this is, it says there, this is the only way that a hunter can refill their hand. They do not draw at the start of the round. But if you go to the hunter's dream, no, when you go to the hunter's dream, you don't draw, so no. Okay. No. But when you refresh your cards to, Because when you go to the Hunter's Dream, you reset your track and everything, too. So I think you would reset it, too, because it doesn't stay that there. Okay. Okay, so you went to the Hunter's Dream because you died. Yeah. So you would get your cards back. Okay. So I'm going to shuffle that. Okay. And I'm going to reflip my pistol back over. Okay. 
you would shuffle up your cards. Okay. Now, at the start of the turn, you don't draw cards, so I think when you come back, you'd have to recover. Yeah. To get your cards back. I think that's how that works, yeah. if the rules go. That sounds, that sounds, makes sense to me. Okay, so now you, re you would respawn back, and you can pick anywhere on the map to respawn, as long as it's two away from me. Um, <laughs> that kind of puts me back in the middle again, unless I want to get squished. So I'm going to respawn right there. Okay, then it would go to my turn. So we know the free basics are gone now, so there's a special and ability left. Yeah. I am going to... Let that dog come to me. I'm not even going <laughs> to... So my turn's you. done. Yep. So I'm going to let the dog come to me. Because that's the only one that can go. He goes. Yep. He's going to attack me. Uh, we know it's either a special, which is in tech or basic. Okay, I will. Do stagger. Oh, it's possibility is not going to do anything. I'm not going to attack him back. Okay. So let's see what he draws. Okay. He draws special. So it's special is Hunter suffers one damage for each damage they deal with their attack. I didn't do any damage to him. Yeah. So I don't take any damage. Cool. So that's that turn. That was my turn. Yep. So now it's over to your turn. And there's no hunt track in this too. So there's no time. Right. No, it's one? just a matter of who, who of us dies three times first, right? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to use this turn to recover. Okay. So you would draw up the free cards again. I got a plus one damage. Okay. Uh, draw one, and after dodging, deal two damage to that enemy. Cool. So. So now it goes over to my turn. Yeah. Nobody's moving towards me or anything. Oh yeah, I'll do that too. Okay. Because it's the end of your turn. That would have moved towards you, but you died. Yes. Yeah? Okay. And monsters don't heal up, too, because there's no respawn in the track list. So if you, even if you hit damage with something, it still stays there. Yeah. So we'll do an order. The hunting dog. One, two. He's going to attack you. Okay. Are you going to attack it back? Right now, it's only ability. So before hunters... Oh. Before hunters attack, move hunting dog one space away. Oh, so even before you get a chance to attack him, he's going to move away anyway. Yeah, so I'm not going to attack yeah. him. Okay, so we know I wasn't that. going to anyway, but... Okay, so he's going to draw his a card. It's ability, we know that. Yeah. So before you attack, it moves one space away from you. Where do you want to move it? Uh, back the way it came. Here? Yeah. One away. Okay, so stuff those back up. Now the Margo's chief attendant would move one. Because that's one away. And then the silver beast would move one. Cool. And then it's my turn. Yep. Okay. Hmm. I am going to attack the hunting dog. Okay. And I'm going to attack with my defensive block two. Okay. On my heavy carve. Okay. So it does free damage. Cool. So what does it do? Basic. So basic is two speed, two damage. Yeah. I'll take it, but I block two. Cool. So I do three damage to it. Three. And it's got four wounds, those yes. things? Yes. Okay. That's what's. And now it's the monster's turn. Yeah. So he's going to attack me. I'm going to attack it back with stagger. Okay. At plus one speed. Okay. So I'm going to do free speed attack. Okay. And what's it going to do to me? Oh, basic. I'm yes. going first because I'm at free speed. Nice. And I staggered the attack. So I do one damage to it and I killed it. Cool. So I get another blood echo. Awesome. That's dead. Uh, on kill, heal two, and move two. Nice. So I would heal two hit points for killing that, and I get to move two. Oh. That's a weird predicament. The dogs would have moved first. 
that dog was out of my activation at the start, so it didn't activate. That dog attacked me. Yes. If I killed it, I get to move two, one, two. I'm now in its range, but it already had its activation to go. So okay. it doesn't get to go again. Okay. But you got to pull a trap for moving into that. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. So, let's so, see what happens. So, could trap. be bad. Either way. Oh, nothing. Cool. So we're good. And that was my turn. Okay. Now it's over to you. Okay. So. I'm a little... I'm a little scooped up. I have no cards now, and yeah. my my uh, dashboard's full, so I have to spend a turn to recover, and then I also have to switch my weapon. i got to spend two turns before I can actually do anything now. Yeah, well, it's going to take me two turns to attack you, though, right? Oh, yeah, because I have to move. move for one activation. Yeah. <laughs> attack I gotta see. Other. What would you like Unless to do? Unless I get hit by a trap. I don't know. We're, we're just going to... Uh, you don't get a trap every time you move in. I've already activated... Oh, so because you went there first, I don't get hit with a trap? Nope. Oh, cool. Okay, so that makes... That we should actually put... The, I think I forget when we played the challenge challenge in the other time. You're supposed to put the traps by the room. Do you want to put that by the other one? Right. That way we know. Okay. Um. I'm going to use my basic draw one. Okay. To move over here. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, okay. Now we're fighting. Okay. So now it goes to my turn. Now we're going to fight. So. I can't do anything. I have no cards. Yep. So I'm going to spend this turn. Oh, wait. At the end of your turn, though, you moved, right? Yes. you got to activate the, the guys. Yeah. So the dog's going to go one, two. Yep. So. Are uh, he's going to attack you? Yes. What are, are you going to attack back? No. You aren't? No. Okay, so he draws oh, three basics, I guess, in some of them. So are you going to stagger it or dodge it? Um, you I'm have your pistol to try to stagger going it. Going to stagger it. Okay. There, solve that? Yep. Okay. Uh, oh, and this is one away too, so the Margo's attendant would move here. Okay. Now it's my turn. Yep. Okay. I am going to spend the turn to recover. Yep. Oh. Or I can spend the turn to go to the Hunter's Dream. I can... Oh, but I have to spend a card to go to the Hunter's Dream. I don't have a card. Damn. So, I have to spend an action to recover so I get my free cards. Yeah. So I get draw one. I can't run away because I don't have a card. Plus one damage, plus one speed, plus one damage, plus one speed. Yep. That's my turn. That doesn't mean this is going to go well for me, whether you want to run or not. <laughs> okay. My turn's done. Okay. Now it's the enemy's turn. Hunter Dog will go first. He's going to attack me. Yeah. I already know it has quick dodge and jagged blades, so it's either going to dodge away from me or I get damage from it too. I'm not going to attack it back. Okay. So what's it going to do? Ability. So, it, before Hunter's attack, move Hunting Dog one space away. Nice. Go over here. That works. And then Margot's attendant would go here. Okay. That's my turn. Now it's your turn. All right. Um, I am going to attack you. Okay. So, this is something. So, when we do attacks now. Uh, we put our little boards up so we don't see. Okay. And then... So when someone attacks you, you yeah. have choices what to do. So you can attack as usual. So you would place your card down and attack at the speed that you place it. Okay. Or you place one card face down in an empty attack slot. At that speed, you can move two. So okay. if I put it in my quick speed, I can, if I'm faster than you, I'd actually move away from you. I'm running away. Okay. Uh, or you can transform your weapon, but you'd have to have a slot to do it. Right. Or you can use a firearm, and all your attacks are basic, so I can actually use my firearm. Okay. Uh, oh, but I have to, I have to place a card face down to activate my firearm too. Okay. Okay, so I all my cards are full, so you got me now. I can't do anything because I can't play a card to attack you back or move, so I'm screwed. Right, okay. So 
you get to pick what you're going to do. So okay. what are you going to do? I'm going to attack you. Okay, so what are you going to attack? I'm going to use my... You can put it there. I won't see it, and then we'll... My basic plus do. one. I'll show the camera, though. And I'm going to put it there. There? Yep. Okay, so then let's say you didn't know what I had. I can't put my cards down anywhere because my cards are full. Yes. So then we reveal our... All right, so I don't mind. I can't do anything. So what do you do? You're doing uh, two speed, three damage, slash. Okay. So you do three damage to me. Yep. I can't do anything back. Okay. And that was your turn. Yep. Uh, you attack me though, so now they're going to come and attack you. Yep. So, hunter dog's gonna go. And he goes one there, and he's going to attack. Okay. We know it's only specials now left, so if you attack him, he's going to do damage to you. So yeah. So are you going to attack him? No. No. Nope. So we know it's special. Hunter suffers one damage for each damage they deal. Okay. You didn't do any damage? No. Nope. So that's that. Yep. Margot's attendant would come into here. Yep. This is the one that I'm worried about a little bit. And he's going to attack. Okay. It's a special, so his special is to the shelf. If this attack was not dodged or staggered, after Hunter's attack, it's going to attack again. Okay. So this is where you can dodge it if you want to... Yeah. Or stagger it. So... I gotta... Do I'm gonna dodge it. So you gotta wait till the attack comes first, right? Yeah. So are you going to attack or wait to dodge? I'm gonna wait to dodge. So special comes. It's at two speed. Can you dodge it? Yep. I got a three speed open. That I can dodge it, and after dodging, deal two to that enemy. Okay, so you do two damage to the attendant. It has free life. Yep. And you clear the slot. No. No, nope, it doesn't say, say clear the slot. Okay. So that was your turn. Yep. Okay, so now it goes to my turn. Yep. So on my activation. Yep. I am going to spend my draw one card. Okay. To go to the Hunter's Dream. Okay. So I'll stop that card. I'll go to the Hunter's Dream. That means I will refresh my weapon and my cards. I would heal up to full. And I would pick two upgrades because I killed two things with Blood Echoes. Okay. So I'm going to take plus one damage on kill, draw one, heal one. Okay. I pick a new upgrade. Stagger if an enemy in your space uses ability. Scarred from their hand. Deal two damage to them. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'll use dash. Okay. So I'll take out my draw one and my basic dodge. Okay. I'm going to come back on my on attack if you have three or less HP attack gains plus one damage plus one speed. Okay. And I'm going to come back two away from you. Okay. Ooh. I can't go there. I have to go here. So I'm going to go right there. Okay. And the new upgrade is a dodge heal one for the slip. Cool. Oh, we haven't done a trap for that room yet. So I put oh, it nope. there. So yeah. the trap is it? Oh. Permanent. Place one insight token on this tile. Enemies deal plus one damage on this tile. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Inside on there. Okay. And now it's your turn. I recover. Okay. So I got a plus one damage, a draw one, and a dodge clear this slot when used to move, move three spaces. Okay. So that's my turn. Okay, so then the The uh, hunting dog is going to attack you. Yep. In your slot. Are you going to attack it back? Um, no. No? No. Okay, so what does it do? Ability. Oh, before hunter is attacked, move one space away. So, oh, do you want to move here? Yes. Okay. That worked. Margot's attendant's going to go. Are you going to attack that one? It has one HP left. Um, yes. Okay, so. I am. 
I'm going to use my basic plus one damage on my heavy carve, which is one speed, and then make it four damage. Okay. He does basic, which is two damage. You don't have your weapon refreshed. No. So it's two damage plus one damage for each other enemy within one space. So it's three damage total. Okay. So you take three damage first. Yep. And then you kill it. So that one's yep. dead. Yay. Can you get a blood echo? Yep. And um, that was your turn. Yep. Now it's my turn? Yep. Okay. I have no cards left. Okay. So I gotta spread an action to recover. Okay. One, two, three. So I got block two plus one damage and stagger. Okay. My turn's done. So the silver beast will come one spot there. Okay. Now it goes over to your turn. Yeah, I think I'm going to go to the Hunter's Dream. Yeah. This so. one, I would find... I don't know if you if you can go... That's what I think the weird with the rules was. Because if you, we keep going to the Hunter's Dream, we're going to be able to keep healing each other ourselves. And then no one's going to be able to die and keep refreshing. I think that's the flaw in the game system of this. Yeah. Because, like I just did, I went to the Hunter's Dream, I healed up, I got my cards back. Yeah. So, it's weird how it works. I'm going to use my uh, draw one card okay. to go to the Hunter's Dream. Okay. So, go out. I will flip my weapon. Refresh these cards. The other... I still have one card. No, that card refreshes too. Everything refreshes. Everything refreshes. You would heal up too? Yep. Those. And you have an upgrade? Yep. So what upgrade are you going to pick? Um, I'm going to take the dodge, heal one, clear this or any other slot. And I'm going to take out one of my basic dodges to do that. Okay. And then you come back two spaces away. Yeah. So that would put me pretty well back there where I was. Okay. So now it's my turn? Yes. The upgrade we get that we took would be draw plus one. Cool. Through the slot. Yep. Okay. So it's my turn. Not do anything. Okay. And let the silver beast come into my spot. Okay. So the silver beast is going to go there. Okay. Uh, I'm going to... He's going to attack. I am going to do... What does he do? Stay, I can't be doing I'm going to do basic plus one damage on frenzy cut. Okay. To do four damage to it. Okay. What does it do? Basic. It does slash, so it's two damage plus one because of the trap. Okay. But I'm going to stagger it with my pistol. Cool. So I do four damage to it, and I killed that one. Nice. Giving me a blood echo. And now it goes to your turn. Okay. Because there's no monsters there that's going to come get me. Nope. Um, I'm going to recover. Okay. So I have a plus one damage. I draw one. And dodge heal one, clear this or any other slot. Okay. Which was my newer upgrade. So that's my turn. So now it goes to the spawns. The monsters, Hunter's Dog's gonna go two. Yep. One, two. He's going to attack you. What are you going to do? I'm going to do nothing. Nothing? Okay. Yeah. What does it do? Basic. Uh, it's at two speed. You can try to dodge it if you want. Um, I think I'm gonna use. My weapon. Okay. So to stagger, stagger it. it. Yep. Okay. So that was your turn. Yep. Over to me. I am going to use my stagger part to move two. One, two. Right there. Okay. So now it's your turn. Okay. What are you going to do? Um, 
he's gonna follow me two spaces, right? Yeah. Uh... And all the basics are gone, so all that's left now is special, uh, two specials. So you're gonna take damage for each damage you do him. So then I'm gonna do nothing. Okay. So he goes special. Unless it happens, because you didn't do any damage to it? Yep. Okay. So now it goes to my turn? Yep. I'm going to use my block two to move two and go one, two. Right there? Yep. I wonder if they're trying to get you to kill all the mobs first. Maybe. And I think maybe this system might work better with more than two people. It's better if you have four people playing, then play PvP, because then there's multiple stuff going on. It just yeah. Yeah. I think it works better with more than two people for the PvP. Yeah, it's just not us chasing each other in yeah. circles. Well, it's the first time we're trying it, right? To see how testing yep. how it works. And doing six damage on a hunter is tough, too. Yep. There's some people that can do it. Yep. Uh, we'll activate this one first. It's going to go one, two. Actually, I believe it's the closest one first, so this one would go first. Right there? Yep. So it's going to attack me. I can't attack back anyway. Yeah. We know it's special. I didn't do any damage to it, so nothing happens. Yeah. Please. This dog will go one, two. This is two. Oh no, it won't go one, two. Because it's not next to it. Right. I don't know why I said that, because I move I didn't move into it so okay. Okay. So that was my turn. Yeah. Now it goes to your turn. I'm gonna do nothing. Okay. So the dog would activate and go into your zone. Yep. And he's going to attack. Are you going to attack it back? Um, no. Okay. So it does basic. Yep. So I'm going to use my dodge, heal one, clear this or any slot. And I'm gonna put it on my two speed and clear it. Okay. So that was your turn? Yep. Okay, so now it goes to my turn? Yep. I have no cards, so I'm gonna spend the accent to recover. Okay. So I get dodge clear the slot, stagger, and on kill draw one heal one. Okay. The dog would go into my zone and attack. I'm going to do Bloodthirsty, so it's plus one damage on kill, draw one, heal one. Okay. And I'll put that on Slash. Okay. What does it do? Special. A hunter suffers one damage for each damage they deal with their attack. Ugh. So I did three damage to it, so it takes three damage. But I take three damage. Yep. I didn't kill it, so I don't heal or anything. Okay. So that was my turn. Yep. So now it goes to your turn. Sucks only being able to do one thing. In yeah, game. that's kind of weird too. Um, I'm going to use my basic plus one damage to move here. So you're in the same spot as me? Yes. Okay. So that's your turn? Yep. So the hunting dog is going to go? Are you going to attack back? No. Okay. It does ability. So before attack, move hunting dog one space away. Yep. So where do you want to move it? Um, Back in the big room. So it moves over there? Yep. Okay. So that was your turn? Yep. And now it's my turn. Yep. Attack you. Okay. So we'll put the card the same up again. And I'll put a card down. Okay. And for attacking, what are you going to do? Now you can either put a card face down in the spot to move to or transform your weapon. Or you can attack me back. I'm going to attack you back. Okay, so don't, then you would put... You're attacking, and so this is going to be a normal attack. So wherever you put it in... Okay. 
Okay? And then we would reveal the things of what we're doing. Okay. So you attack me back at... One speed, three damage, and I draw one. Okay. And then I did quick slash, so I did one damage, and I clear the slot with my dots. Okay. So I'm gonna gonna go you're going to go first. So I do one damage to you. Okay. I clear the slot. And then... Oh. If you have three or less HP, I gain... So I would have been at four speed, and it does two damage. Cause okay. I'm and then you did three damage to me. Yep. And you draw one. So you draw a card. Yep. Oh my god. A plus one damage. You do three damage to me, which kills me. Yep. So I lose an insight. So we both have two now. Yep. So I go away. Okay. So I lose my blood echo because I died. Yep. I would heal back up to full. So I'm back up at six. And my cards would come back too. But I don't get to draw any cards, right? Right. Because I have no trouble. Yep. And I would come back two away from you, right here. Okay. And that was my turn, because I attacked you. Yeah. So now it goes to your turn. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do nothing. Okay. So the dogs are going to come into your spot. Yep. That one. And he's going to attack you. Are you going to attack it back? Um, and he has one hit point left. Yes. I'm going to attack it with my basic plus one damage. And I'm going to do it on my three speed attack. Okay. So it's three speed, two damage. Does it do? Basic. So you're going to go first because it's basic is at two speed. Okay. So you do two damage and you kill it. Nice. And you get a blood echo for that. Thank you. Uh... You're here, that's two away, so that one doesn't go. Cool. So that was your turn? Yep. So it's my turn. I'm going to recover. I got plus one damage. I'm killed, draw one, heal one. Plus one damage, plus one speed. Yep. And stagger. Cool. Now it's back to your turn. Yeah, not being able to move in between turns like that is frustrating. You have no cards, right? No. So, so I have to recover. Yeah. So are you going to recover? Yep. Okay, so it's your turn. Yep. What are you going to do? I'm going to recover. Okay. So I have, uh, after dodging, deal two to that enemy. I have a draw one and a stagger draw one. Okay. And that's all you're going to do? Yep. So I'm going to use my stagger to move two. I'm going to go one, two right there. Okay. And... That's my turn. Yep. So now it's your turn. What are you going to do? Um, I'm going to use my basic draw one to move. One, two. Okay. Is that it for your turn? Yeah. Okay. So there's no one next to you with on tiles because these aren't linked and these are that one? Yep. So then your turn's done. Yep. So it goes over to my turn? Yep. Uh, I am going to attack you. Okay. So we'll put our card things back up again. Attack. And what are you going to do? I'm going to attack you back. Okay. So we'll lift the things up. So where did, what one did you put it on? Uh, two speed, two damage, and it's stagger. Two speed. It's the middle card. Two okay, speed, two damage. damage. Stagger. And you draw one. So you drop a card. I dropped you drop it. it. So you draw a card. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I put mine on frenzied cut. So it's at two speed. Are you at two speed too? Yes. So lucky I got the speed on there. You would have staggered me. So you can't stagger stuff of the same speed. Right. If you're on the other side, I think you can stagger people at the same speed. I think that's the ability. Attacks with stagger also deal plus one damage. Oh, no. Okay, then. So... We're going at the same speed. You do two yep. damage to me. Yep. So I get two. And I do four damage to you. Okay, so you kill me. So you lose an insight. And you blood echo. Yep. And you would... Pop out. And you would refresh all your stuff. Yep. So you refresh everything and now... Yep. You're and I pop back over here. Okay. And that was... 
Whose turn was that? I attacked you or you attacked me? Uh, you attacked me. Okay, so it goes over to your turn. Yeah. So what are you going to do? I'm going to recover. Okay. So, it's basic draw one. Plus one damage and dodge, heal one, clear this, or any other slot. So they said chalice reds are optional. I think that would have made it a little difficult too if we did challenge, if we did do the chalice rights. Yeah. Maybe we'd be dying a little bit easier and it'd be more challenging that way. So maybe if you did it next time, you would do chalice rights. Right. That okay. Way we would have less freedom to do what we're doing basically. Right. So it's my turn. Yes. I am going to use my last card, Blood Thirsty, to move two and go one, two. Right there. Okay. And that's my turn. Yep. Over to you. What are you going to do? I am going to use my plus one damage card to interact with the tile and pick up that consumable. Okay. So we get the consumable, the first one. Yep. We'll cut it. You want this one? Yeah. Hunter's turn. One non-boss enemy within two spaces doesn't activate. Cool. So we'll play, because we're playing against each other, I think you can use that on me too. <laughs> okay. So. Cool. You did your one thing. Yep. Okay. That's it. For me. Because it's an item and you're not using a card. One, two. Did you want to use that item now and so I don't get my turn? Because it's two spaces away. Sure. Okay. We'll do it that way. So, now I'm going to get my turn. So, now, back to you. What would you like to do? Um, I think I'm going to stay there and let you come to me. Okay. So, that's your turn? Yep. Okay. So, you're going to stay there, you said? Yep. Okay. So, it's my turn. Yep. So, I'm going to recover. Okay. Plus one damage. Plus one damage on kill, draw one heal. Yep. And stagger. So my turn's done. So now it goes back to your turn. So what are you going to do? Um, I am going to stay there. Okay, so it's my turn? Yep. Okay. So... I'm going to spend my basic card to move one, two, there. And my turn's done. Okay. So now it goes to your turn? Yep. What are you going to do? I'm going to attack you. Okay, so you took the... What's up? And I'm going to attack you back too. Okay. So you're done? Yep. Okay. So I'm going at two speed plus one damage. And what are you doing? I'm going at two speed, two damage, and I draw one. So you draw a card. So it's another dodge after dodging deal two damage to that okay, enemy so you do two damage to me yep so i have two life left and it's at the same speed so on attack i was my attack was at the same time so i wasn't under free hp when i attacked so i don't get the bonus yet right so but i do three damage to you now that's the other thing you can dodge it it doesn't just, the rules are so loose on this it's a standard attack, so yes, I think you can still dodge. So can I put my dodge, deal two damage to that enemy on my three speed? Yeah, after now? Do yeah, after dodging, deal two damage. Yeah. Yeah. So you do how much damage? I do two more damage. Okay. So that would have killed me. So I would lose yeah. an insight and I would die. So then everything would get refreshed. So if I die, I'm gonna go Two spaces away there. And we haven't have revealed the trap in that room yet? No. So let's see what trap's in there. Permanent. Place one insect token on this tile. Enemies deal plus one damage. So that's the, that's the same as the other one, right? Yeah. There's no enemies there anyway. Yeah. 
and that was my turn. Yeah. So it's your turn. All right. It's your turn. Okay. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna use this card. To okay. Move. And I'm gonna go one, two. Okay. And then there's no spawns next to us. So nope. then it goes over to and my there's turn. No trap or anything in there. So now it goes to me. I have no cards, so I'm gonna have to recover. Yep. So I'll recover and I got plus one damage on kill, draw a new one, plus one damage, plus one speed. Yep. And plus one damage. Okay. And that's me. So now it goes over to you. I am also gonna have to recover. <laughs> okay. So I've got dodge, attack or dodge at plus one speed, clear this slot, draw one, and plus one damage. Okay, so that backs to my turn. Yep. Yeah, see, that's why I think it's, this would be better with three or four people too, because right now if we really wanted to, we could just stand here back and forth and no one's going to do anything. Yeah. <laughs> or I could go to the hunter's dream and we could just troll each other the entire game, right? Yeah. Uh, which could be amusing to a certain extent, but after a certain about point... About filming and other stuff, yeah. Like people yeah. want to watch to throw each other for three hours. Yeah, after a certain point, it's just like, all right, come yeah. at and me. And another thing I was thinking before when we were on break, I don't know if that would work, if it's having two accents, because having to do one card and then one card, maybe being able to do a move and then one other action. Yeah, not being able to move is a pain in the neck. to do one move and then one other action, maybe. Yeah. But we'll see, let's play this. I got... What am I going to do? Yeah. We both have one hit, one. We oh, do. I have one hit in sight. Where's your insight token? Is it over there? Oh, it's right on there. there. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, let's try this. I'm going to do my plus one damage card to move one here. Okay. And that's my turn. So now it's over to you. Okay. What are you going to do? I am going to attack you. Okay. So we need to do... Yeah, well, well, I just want to look at your side. Okay. So I'm going to put a card on mine. And I'm putting a card on mine. Okay. So then we attack each other? Yeah. So I'm attacking you at what becomes two speed, three damage. And then I have to clear that slot. Attacks or dodge plus one? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, and then I got frenzy cut, which does plus one damage, plus one speed. So we're both going at two speed? Yeah. So I do four damage to you? Yeah. And you do I three do. damage to me? Yes. And I clear this slot. Do you do anything when you clear the slot? No. Okay. Nope. And that was your turn? Yep. So that goes to my turn? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna attack you. Okay. Are you going to oh you get to do you're gonna attack back? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So what do you got? Uh one speed, four damage. Okay, and I got two speed plus one damage on kill, draw one, heal one. So I'm okay. going first. Yep. And I do three damage to you. And you kill me. Because I only had two left. Oh, okay. So, I so you. you won. And then on a kill, I would have drawn a card and I would have healed one. So I would have been at four. And I could have moved or whatever. Yeah, you got me. So, yeah, I think, I think you're right about putting parameters. Like, not being able to move is a, is a big yeah. pain in the neck. Being able to move and then do one other action and maybe figuring something out of, out about the dream about only being able to go to the dream under certain circumstances yeah like we don't you don't need to use a hunt track but maybe every time you get to a certain point on the hunt track like when you get to the respawn of the hunt track that's when you can go to the hunter's dream or something yeah or trying to find out new rules for it yeah because if you keep if you just go to the mobs and keep fighting the mobs and going to the hunter's dream and getting you could have a whole deck full of upgrades before you even touched anybody, depending on how you were doing it, right? I think it needs more than two people, too. It's like, Absolutely. Because we have more, each other player, we would have another tile. Yeah. And the monster is not coming back, to Maybe adding the fact that if you're going to play those two people, maybe the monsters do come back to add more. Yep. 
Express? Yeah, I think that's a possibility. And not having a boss, too. I thought we were going to have to fight a boss in this one, too, those on the map. But, yeah. Or maybe even making a roaming bot when you're playing two people or other ones, make a roaming boss. Like, we have the beast possessed soul. Maybe have a wrongdoing monster walking around the dungeon to... That's not a bad here. idea. Yeah. And if you get to a certain... Because there's a... a we had an area gate lever, right? Maybe yeah. if you get to a certain room, like the lever, you open it, and that's when he starts walking or something? Like... Lots of different possibilities of it. Yeah. But as a game, we like Bloodborne. We like Bloodborne. That was... We've gone through everything now, so I think we're going to be done for Bloodborne now, because we're going to start doing other games, like Star Wars, and hopefully the other games coming from Kickstarter soon. Yeah, we have a few coming along, so it'll be exciting to get to them. And I'm I'm looking forward to Star Wars. I think it'll be fun. Something Sounds we haven't done in a while. watching all our Bloodborne stuff, too. And we'll yeah. Stuff up in the store. For all the left of the Bloodborne stuff that we had didn't finish up or didn't get to see on screen too. Yeah, we and if you guys monsters to finish painting up too. Yeah, if you guys have a favorite monster that we haven't put up, let us know so we can get it get Someone it painted and cool get it like up, the right? What's your guy and the weird? Yeah, there's lots of neat. I love the 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 whole aesthetic of Bloodborne is very cool. So, feel free to let us know what you think. We're always happy to hear from you. But thanks for coming out. Thanks for checking out our videos and continuing to check out Bloodborne. That was. The Chalice Dungeon PvP, and we'll see you next time. See ya.